Hello everybody, welcome to the official replay cast of the Group B second round match between Ratamo and his Imperial Nobility up against Viking Cop with his Lizardmen. Um, for a little background of the coaches, Ratamo is Finnish. He qualified on the PC through, I believe, the Rock Paper Shotgun League Divisions of Death. And Viking Cop is Spanish and qualified on PC through the Rebel Qualifier. We can have a little look at the table after round one. So uh, Frankie129 won his first round match against Ratamo. So Ratamo, if he loses again, is out of the competition. Viking Cop drew against Arzawain. So um, Viking. So a draw here keeps them both technically alive. And a win for either one puts them right in the mix. Uh, Viking copies will still be technically in the, in a chance in with a chance with a loss, I believe. Um, but let's. But yeah, Ratan will definitely won't right because he's already lost one. So uh, yeah, yeah, he'll definitely be Ratan will definitely be out if he loses, hundred percent. So let's see what happens um, with this. Uh, Viking cop chose to kick, which is interesting. He's got. Uh, typical team of lizards, six block, twelve players, two rerolls at Apo. Uh, Ratamo's gone a pretty non standard Imperial Nobility team. Doesn't have Blodge Blitzers. He's gone with a Tackle Blitzer and a Mighty Blow Blitzer. Of course, the four guards. No Ogre, no Leader, uh, but does have an actual third reroll because he hasn't got the Ogre and has the Apo, but only 12 players, two dirty players. It's a very strange team. Very strange build from Ratamo. Um, but we'll see what happens. I've got no idea who got bad habits. Two players are earn only two plus. Oh, it doesn't show up on them. It doesn't show up on them. So. I guess it's the lizards. Oh, dub skulls. Oh, there we go. That, that skink has loner. Yeah, these two skinks got loner. Makes the pickup with sure runs. Goes for a foul. Oh, to be fair, the dirty player can definitely high roll versus lizards. And we start off with an instant KO and Apo usage. And he's going to blitz this guy back, isn't he, to try and uh, take him out and shore up the defense. Which he does get the AV break. Quite, I quite like this... Uh, kind of tiger stripes thing that the uh, lizards have and the black orc cheerleaders Ratamo though letting the side down with a default unpainted imperial ability team with default cheerleaders sad so the pow here And Mighty Blow Blitz a skink. He's red red it. Doesn't kill the skink, never lucky. Oh. This uh, Saurus around the side is a bit of a concern. That's pretty funny right now. Okay, Crocs Blitz, let's go. On the Blitzer as well, so actually gets to follow up on the ball. 
But he's just going to get Matty Blood back, isn't he? Oh, wow. Skink foul and gets a KO. Well, the problem is there's guard and there's the ball carrier, so it's just an instant two dice Mighty Blow with block, isn't it? It doesn't do that. That is not what I... Oh, is this to get a bigger foul? Is this to set up a massive gang foul? <laughs> no, okay, I don't. I don't understand. I don't know. Oh, it's so we can tackle a skink. Man, I, I definitely prefer, like, Mighty Blow Blitzing. A Crocs go away from the ball, to be honest. Well, this kind of works, doesn't it? Gets the ball away. He, he, like, you know, he moves the ball away from the Crocs afterwards, at least. Another player down for the... Another guard down for the uh, knobs. Tried to clear that to get the Crocs in, but then doesn't stand up the Crocs immediately, which he absolutely should have done. Oh, unless he's going to blitz that guy, I guess. I guess he could blitz that guy. Errata, errata. Oh, one in nine. With a two plus loner as well, makes the loner. Gets a removal. That could have been worth three dicing him, right? Just to, for the safety of it. But, um. It's the pow here. Honestly, maybe should have blitzed the uh, dirty player. That would have been. That would have been okay, because this dirty player is becoming a threat, but I guess there's. Oh, okay, he's just going to base him. This is now brutal for Ratamo. Absolute nightmare. Does get the mighty blow skink and do absolutely nothing. That was a few AV breaks, wasn't it? That is, this is looking a disaster now. It wasn't actually that many. I think it was like a removal and a stun. Or maybe it was double removal. A couple of rushes and a handoff. Lovely. Fantastic desperation move. And dodge. Now again, the first thing you should do is just like get this guy back, right? Get this guy moving back. First action, before you make all these blocks. First of all, you've only got one reroll. And second of all, um, you know, even if you didn't only have one reroll, just get him back so you've got something back. Like, all four of these could have moved first, right? Before any block dice were rolled. The Crocs blitzing, I guess. That's pretty dodgy, because he's up against a stand firmer, and he's got Bonehead, so... That completely fails. Well... Did not really like that turn from Viking Cop. After a pretty great runaway turn from Ratamo and a Kazinger Skink. Lovely. Now we're just going to dodge everything, I think, or punch everything. <laughs> Classic. Needs the power here, gets it. Good. Really good to roll powers when you need them. That is a great skill. Congratulations. Tags him so he can try and dodge the other one away. Uh, so, the play here, the definite play here, is to... Oh, you can't chain him because he's got stun fam. God damn it. The, the play here would be to chain this guy out, but he's got stun firm, so you just can't. Um, knobs or P. What can I say? So now you've got to power him, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, rush, right? So yeah, so the normal play would be, like, skink in here, move a guy in there, and then chain him out. But now you've just got to hope you power him, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, rush. That has to be the play. Doesn't get the power, and hit with the other guy. So he hit with the wrong guy. If he'd hit with this guy, 
he would have got that would have been perfect. Oh, double skulls. I think it was really worth going for the ball sack there. Because, I mean, I'd be going for the 1-0 up at the half-time, right? Like, this is the thing. If I'm... If I'm... Uh, Lizards versus Imperial Nobility, I don't want to stop their touchdown. I want to, end, I want to finish the half 1-0 up. I have zero respect for them. <laughs> I, though, having said that, with this all looking a bit dodgy, maybe keep the skink there. And uh, so you've got a, you know, you've got a screen, whatever happens. Because as it is, putting him behind the ball there wasn't really doing a whole lot, except forcing him to kill your skink. Oh, dub schools! Once again, no safe moves first of a Viking cop, right? He has not made safe moves first at all this game. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right, could have had a Crocs on the ball. Only on a two plus. This guy could have based the ball instantly. So, okay, not doing safe moves first when you've got a re-roll. You know, then you're only open to one and twelve nine sixes. So you can argue... You can argue that it's not so bad to not do safe moves there, but as Artemis always talks about, you know, like the the uh, your autopilot, if you're always moving safe moves first, it means when you are down to zero rerolls, you will always move, make safe moves first. And now I, I tend to really lock it down when I've got no rerolls and really play super safe, and I think that's how most people play, but yeah, Viking Cop. It didn't last game actually, I remember him, he went down to zero rerolls and still carried on not making safe moves first. And here it is really bit him because yeah, just even putting that guy there would have been a huge, a huge payoff. So yeah, imp knobs are gonna score outrageously. Outrageously imp knobs are gonna score. I don't believe it. Oh, maybe not. Is, is, can they reach? No, oh, they can. So it gets him chained up. Oh. No, I thought he was going to chain him and then block him off and then touch the ball. But just wanted to punch. Just wanted to punch somebody different and was another dub skull. <laughs> <laughs> God. <laughs> Radamore's got a reroll, so absolutely going to hit a skink. Yep. It's a full pow. And you're stunned. Bangs it in. Crashing my life choices. <laughs> oh, I'm questioning my life choices. Imagine knowing the best player in the world and he's super friendly and he would have told you what race to pick and instead you just didn't. <laughs> what a fool I am. Pitch invasion, it doesn't matter, right? It's just the uh, it's just the punches. Punchy punchy. Well, no, no spoilers, please, Law Bell. K Fog did not tell me to pick knobs. No, he would have told me to pick Woody's if I'd asked him, which I should have done. Right, so 1 0 up at half time is Ratamo. And uh, 
Viking Cop is down to only three skinks, ten players total. High elves. I mean, I, I made the decision to play Dark Elves in tabletop, like, exclusively, right? But that could have come after the World Cup. <laughs> Oh man, first action, two dice. Block full block, and he rolls dub skulls. Outrageous. He has had, I mean, Viking Cop has had some horrendous dice, to be fair. Non stop dub skulls. This is how you can lose to knobs. Constant dub skulls. I don't even know how many he's rolled now. Four or five or something. Crocs. So a lot. It's a lot of dub skulls, isn't it? Does not get the ball in the rain. So. Oh, he's got the, yeah, he's got the... What are these called? <laughs> Not helmets. Customizations. Cosmetics, he's got the cosmetics. And these guys, oh, removal. Oh, Apple comes in. A wise, a wise Apple. Dub skulls again! Oh, okay, this on the this time on the Crocs, but still, oh my god! Mind, the Croc should have been a three dice, right? That should have just been a three dice. That was a one in nine. That wasn't even unlucky, really. Like it was, it was a dub skull, but like you can just make that a three dice, right? But wow, wow! <laughs> His dice have been horrendous. But like, why is that not a 3D, right? Or a block with block, though he would have dub skulled anyway. Yeah, knobs are looking pretty good. I'd be, look, I'd be feeling pretty... This is Dimmy's confidence thing, right? Like, I'm confident now. <laughs> 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 because I'm more likely to score than my opponent is. Did this guy just not move? Was this like a run out of time thing or something? This guy, these were both stunned and he was he was the one getting blocked. He could have moved, right? Ogle snobs, yeah. Now against lizards that have one reroll left, haven't got the ball picked up. It's in the rain, they've only got three skins. They have to use the last reroll to pick up the ball. I mean, maybe they didn't, but there was there is a tackler dude right here, so maybe they did. Yeah, I think this guy should have, like you know gone forward somewhere. Just the fact these two were were, were stunned. But now, of course, the fact he was hidden there means that he's going to get to hit the ball now. Lineman hero. Doesn't get the knockdown. Dance. Wrestles him. Makes a dodge with the other one to get a 1D here. Okay, I like this. Dodge double rush. Like it's. It was a lot of dice, but it was a pretty big payoff, wasn't it? Though I don't like leaving these exposed. That's the only bad thing about this turn, is leaving these unmarked so they can both get straight in to relevant positions. Full power. Again, not standing this guy up first. Dead, dead, dead. 
bit of luck for Viking Top. Makes the dodge to uh, more or less have a cage. I mean, could 4 plus to hit the ball, and could just 3 plus to tackle, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 3, 2 to hit the tackle, that is not good enough. From Viking Cop. Has to re-roll this. It's the knockdown. Oof. Bit unlucky, but not terrible. It's the pal. This is looking really bad for Viking Cop now. No re rolls. There we go. A safe move. So, not standing him was completely reasonable, right? Because he's marked by tackle. And uh, you're going to blitz that tackle, so leave him down is completely reasonable. Cheeky Crocs block. Oh, fend. Fend. Fails the fall. Like you can just rely on the rain here, can't you? Almost as the as the knobs, just put people near the ball and let the rain take care of the rest. Blitz a skink. No, gets a two D. I don't hate. I don't love moving him away from the skinks and the ball, but he's a bit further back, which is fine. And generating hits is very important, so... One of those things, isn't it? It's like, you can't have everything. Just punching. What do you... Yeah, yeah, there you go. That's what he should have done. So he gets to move this guy up. Is this a rush or not? It is. But I guess has to do it. This is a pretty good solve from Viking Cop. Oh. Except he needed the extra assist. So it was nearly really good. But, um... Unfortunately, you can't pick up the ball. It's another turn. Ticks by. Without him being able to put it away. So yeah, just base the ball. Just make it hard for him to pick it up. Rebasing that guy. Rush to base this guy. Yep. So he's going to get the instant scatter here, which is a nice, a nice block. Knocks down the tackler as well. Uh, I don't, I don't love doing this irrelevant block, right? You've got no rerolls. Just make sure, try to make sure. I would have actually, so I would have actually run all the way around, right? One, two, three, four, five, and then six square hitting him, and then maybe it comes out in one of these three because you're still picking up the four plus. Like it's not great. Uh, having to pick on a 5 plus, right? Having to pick on a 5 plus is really bad. So I think it was worth running all the way around and hoping for one of these three. And then you can just like pick it up and then dodge through there, I guess. Um, I don't know, just pick it up and go up this way. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So definitely would have had somewhat of a chance if he'd scattered it. It's a lot harder without scattering it. I'm going for the handoff. Gets the 5 plus pick up. Gets the 4 plus catch. And he's off. 
fool at me. Okay, disregard. It's amazing. He might avert the loss to knobs. The absolute humiliation of losing <laughs> to the overpowered knobs. Oh no! The crocs went stupid, and then he gets powered. It was the right. It was the right play to punch him, right? Because it was seventy-five percent dodge away. So you're right to punch him there for sure. Wow. Uh, last turn, maybe I wasn't. I just saw him move, maybe. But wow, well, Ratamo won. Imperial nobility. One of the worst teams in the game. Beat one of the best ones. Unbelievable. So there you go. Congratulations, Ratamo. Commiserations, Viking Cop. Um, so this was the, the table beforehand. Um, that does leave Viking Cup on one, Ratnam on three. So it's it's all, all to play for. This group is going to go down to the wire in in match day three. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Well, so congratulations, Ratnam. Commiserations, Viking Cup. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.